Hey guys, what's up? Uh, thought I would do a little video of um, my tank. 55 gallon running Zet lights, UFOs, kind of dusty. Upgrading soon, so I thought I would get a video of what it looked like beforehand. Do a couple of shots, then tell you a little bit about it. I think I have about like 60 pounds of a uh, rock in there. My uh, stock. Coral wise is a uh, some zinnias right there. Yeah, I know they could take off. Uh, obviously, if you could tell, this Kenya tree is uh, taking off all over. Just picked these up yesterday. There's three polyps on there, but something just irritated the clove polyps. That guy's really curious. A leather something just went through this area, so some of these things are irritated. Got these uh, pink mohawk pallies, dragon eyes, I believe. Don't recall that one right there. That's a nice sized chunk. My favorite zoos of all time are uh, Rastas. You can see these uh, Kenya trees. Everything's super friendly. Some more Kenya trees, some more Kenya trees. Uh, the conch, sleeper goby, some euphilia, hammers, some more Kenya trees, some more Kenya trees. Uh, this nice, really like this GSP. Got on a separate rock. Man, everything is in the way. Well, everything wants to be on camera. Look at that. I uh, got it on this nice rock so when I upgrade it can be on its own island. There's some frog spawn. Have another little mushroom down there, but these little uh, bastards have been eating some other things. This was a, a nice pink Ganyapura that these two can't catch them, got a hold of them. Don't know what this is called. I know it's a bubble tip of some kind, neon orange, but it's white and bleached out. It's been like that since I got it, so I'm trying to bring the color back. Another good sized Kenya tree. Some Rhodactus of some sort. I think that's all my uh, corals. So I'll show you some fish, some uh, Dalmatian molly fish that I acclimated to saltwater. My pair of mocha storms. My regal or hippo tang, that'll be uh, going away uh, once it starts growing too big. That guy, as I already mentioned. My cleaner shrimp, he's pretty uh, cool. He chases uh, these guys off. Got a Talbot damsel, there were two of them, but this one was getting picked on, so I got rid of the other one. Those are my newest additions if you caught them. I just got those the day before yesterday and some scatfish. I know they can get quite large, but they're really cheap, and I really liked how they were swimming around the whole tank. Um, there's a mandarin goby, a really fat mandarin goby around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. You can kind of see him. I got pods all throughout this tank. Got a couple... Electric blue hermit crabs that I do not see, which is, oh, here's one right here. Maybe you can see them. Some scarlets. You know, turbo snails. Nasaris with a bunch of Nasarius uh, babies running around. Over here, I don't know if you can see, but obviously I got some, you know, Estrina starfish. Bunch of sponges throughout here. So my equipment is uh, 
pretty simple. Got the ice cap 1K right there. Turn it sideways because I don't know. The settings aren't very well, aren't like good on it. I had the J Bow uh, cross flow and I liked it a lot better, the settings, because you could get like a flowing motion and everything like that more. But if I change the settings or mess with it, it really irritates the Euphilia. The Euphilia actually get like way bigger than this, like softball size when there's no flow at all, but there's not really many places to put them with the frag clips. So I'm hopefully when I get my new water box, I'm able to, you know, rearrange in like a C shape and have more options to place things. Down here is my sump. Pretty simple. It's pretty low right now. I need to fill it up. This was a trickle filter. I took all the bio balls out. I got my super cheap $20 skimmer right there. Works pretty well. Just emptied it earlier. Got my Amazon grow light zip tied. It's growing um, Calerpa. This is the reason why I'm getting a new tank. I need to fix the stand. And the wiring is pretty hideous. It's pretty dirty. That's why I'm going all in one next. Simpler. So yeah, I just got the sponge. Some hermit crabs in there. Um, stomella, stomatellas. All kinds of cool creatures in there. Got some ghost flatworms in there as well. But they stay in there, so I'm not worried about them. I'm getting a new tank anyway, so most of those uh, critters, critters I'll lose on the transfer. Always feeding them rods and, you know, awesome, awesome. They don't like any other, I have that one, but they don't ever eat that. The only time I got my tangs and mollies to start eating seaweed is when I get the rods. Don't know why. And like I said before, Zetlight UFOs seem to do the trick on the new tank. Uh, instead of being so long, it'll be more more depth, like this way. So, I figure like, I get more coverage. Oh yeah, if, if let's see if I can get it on camera. I have a uh, Ah, oh, where'd it go? I have a nice rainbow anemone. But it's been moving around a lot lately. It was right there at first for the longest time. And now it just keeps moving and moving and moving. So I'm hopefully it finds its place. It's been tending to go behind all the rock work. Yeah, but that's about it, uh. Hopefully this uploads in 4K like it's recording, supposedly. And uh, tell me about your tanks. Tell me what you like about my tank. Have any questions, I could probably answer them. Thanks for watching.